Hi everyone, today we're going to explore our SFR rating across two different tracks, one in Sydney and one in Melbourne. We're going to look at Rose Hill to start with, 2,795 records in our data. We're going to focus on our race tempo, data quality only 100% for each race, our settling position and our stat freaks rating. So these can be found on our PDFs, stat freaks rating SFR. Here, our race tempo is found here, what we predict the race speed will be, and then our map, where they're going to settle. We also have this data in the CSV files, which you can then filter on. Data quality 100, SFR, and our settling positions. All, di all downloadable from our members portal. So looking at Rose Hill, the dynamics are quite interesting. What I like to do is to learn about a, a track is I first like to look at the tempo that we predict. So if I'm going to focus on the average race tempo, meaning this race tempo, the word appear that appears here is average. I can see that the optimum settling position changes. So if I untick it and then I tick it again, for the demonstration purposes, we can see that the strike rate is 20% if we predict it's going to lead, and the average converting that 20% to a dollar value, it's five dollars. The average win price that paid last year was 7.1, so we calculated 2.1 dollar edge over the market for every dollar bet just with that scenario. So that's quite interesting at Rose Hill uh, for average speed races. If I move over to fast races, we've only got 147 records. It's quite different to average where it's also picking up a lot of value in the runners that are settling at the rear. We've only got 14 for the hot speed races, so it's not really worth looking at at the moment because um, that, that would have been only a couple of races. Moderate, we can see clear difference where the value is actually backing the runners that are sixth and out in the fields where going back to average it was more the lead and then moderate being outside the top five so they're the tr different dynamics I like to look at using the race tempo now in combination with the SFR I then like to look at runners where we've highlighted red, which means above the average of the race. So to do that, I just simply set on the SFR zero, and then I go through that process again, and I can see that quite quickly, the dynamics change once again. So if I'm focusing on the top half of the field, it looks like the value is actually good runners that we rate in the top half that settle fifth and below for average races fast not so much for hot because we don't have so much data and then that is backed up uh, as well in this data set from the moderate so what I can do for to Rose here I can literally type in maybe fifth and above and I can see that if I look at overall 538 selections low strike rate which means that's that's just over one in 10 bets would win but then there's a 70 cents advantage using the average price now using something like Betfair you might be able to get you can get a better price than how we document it um, and there is some value there but just keep in mind it is a low strike rate with that and it looks like average races there's still some improvement uh, f within there so if I just knuckle down on just say between five and six I then now have a positive across all three there's some insights into Rose Hill and we'll move on to our next track which is in Melbourne okay we're gonna have a look at Flemington which is sometimes one of the most confusing tracks for punters but I think it's a good good place to see with our data if there is any insights we can find. 
Um, starting on average races, it's quite clear that an average race, if we look at last year, settling outside the top six is where the value was in the market. In the fast type races, um, it's not so clear. But there was a bit of value in, looks like settling third. Hot races, definitely leading or just off the lead. And then the moderate races on pace, which is second or third behind the leader. So there's two different dynamics there. Average races, the value was sitting further back. So when this was average, at Flemington sitting further back was an advantage where for a moderate speed race, settling second or third was the way to be. So two very different dynamics. So that's an, it's very important how the predicted tempo impacts where you settle in a race and especially at Flemington. Now if I look at the top half of the field and I apply those settings again it's consistent. So the top horses, the ones that we have above, in, above zero which means they're in red here once again settling far back 7 or 8 was the place to be at Flem Flemington over the course of the whole year apart from December it didn't look too great and then if I settle on the moderate races a little bit harder now that we've take, we've trimmed up to the top end, end of the field where if we took that out it was definitely two and three. So what that is sort of highlighting to me is that the rate, the way we rate the horses, um, as we've rated them higher, they, it, the value doesn't seem to be there. Um, it's really just looking at any horse in the field that's going to settle second or third at Flemington over the course of the year provided some value. The low strike rate would mean that 10%, roughly one in every 10 bets would win, but over the course of the year it seemed pretty consistent. And then if I wanted to have a look at the bottom half of the field, I would just put zero in here and then I can see through each race tempo. Now what's, what's quite cool is just overall low, lower strike rate is two and three but it also is where there's a lot of value. It's real patient to 6.6%. You'd have long losing streaks. So, um, me personally, I like to operate in the sort of high end of the performers um, where you can sort of increase. So, I think just looking at this track here 1.5 and above. And as I click through, I can see that that's over 20% average races so that's one in every five bets so Flemington tough track but the interesting thing is average races with our data favors the rear settlers and then moderate speed races is favoring the horses that are just up on pace behind the leader the hot tempo race is favoring the leaders lead one or two horse and then fast is not very clear so keep that in mind for Flemington and make sure you check on, on the reports or in the data files those settings um, because that's where there seems to be the optimum zone thanks for tuning in if you're looking for deeper insights into profit and loss return on investment and strike rate analysis, subscribe to our monthly membership for full access to our VIP area and learning content.